And we're back, with some more oxygen not included. And our little duplicates here have been napping their way through the last while, but we've got this sealed off so that we've had no more prob we'll have no more problems with the heat escaping. Uh, at the same time, we've cleared out this section. So I think it's time to move the water pump over there. I'm currently ripping that out so we can start pumping the water from over here to there to clear up even more space. And where was it? One of our dupes, ha dupes is having a problem. Yeah, it's Skinny Speaks. Their stress is getting a little bit high. 41% makes me a tad uncomfortable. The reason it's so high is, well, okay, frankly, uh, depressing is making it minus 20%, but they should have higher morale. It's just we didn't get them a mess table. Um, so we want to get around to making them a mess table as soon as possible. That would be great. Once they get a mess table, they get the morale bonus from the Great Hall. That'll uh, even them out. Might want to maybe throw down, whereas under furniture, we should be able to throw down a massage bed. Wait, it's under medicine. Under medicine. My bad. In fact, we'll throw that back there. Uh, we'll leave a little bit of space. That can become uh, the relaxation room. And we'll make that a priority six, just so that uh, skinny there doesn't go a little bit crazy and start punching things. So I wonder what their stress reaction is. You know what? Never mind. Let's see what kind of goodies we got this week. New blueprint unlocked. Basic purple shoes. Okay. That's it? It's fine and all. I was just kind of expecting to get a few more things after the last time. Expectations set and all that. Alright, down here what we've done is we've put down a water pump. We're going to put in a couple of blocks to force the water up. Then we're going to run power cable and plumbing all the way over here. And then, very shortly, we shall have that all being pumped into this section. And at the same time, we're going to start running power, well, water, all the way up here, and we're going to put in some new bathrooms. We want everyone to have some nice, clean toilets. And how's our food looking? It's good, actually. We're not so bad. You, come along here and dig that out. We're going to want some of that muckroot. And is that another, it's another hatch? Someone go wrangle that and put it into the into our ranch. Ooh, we need to get our hands on a whole bunch of sedimentary rock while we're here. We're going to start tackling the slime biome today. But first... First bathrooms. I've been putting the bathrooms thing on the long, long finger for too long. Oh, come on. Get up and move. There's been the question asked, do they get a sore back from sleeping on the ground? And they don't seem to. The thing was, there was suggestions made that maybe we should just get rid of their beds and see if they ever get a sore back. Like, if they're immune to the sore backs, then can't we just let them run around with Narcoleptic knack nap? Oh, does that actually reduce their stress? Or increase their stress? Okay, so maybe I'm reading this wrong, but it seems like pleasant chit-chat, narcolec uh, narcoleptic nap, and high morale, they all decrease stress. So there's actually a net negative to their stress from all of this napping. It just doesn't show up here. Okay, so either it's not accounted for or, you know what, who cares? Let's see if we've got any narcoleptics. Nope, uh, give us the water. I don't think we need any duplicates just yet, especially considering we are still struggling just a tiny scooch with food. Now... In here, I'm going to try something slightly different. You see, the suggestion was made. Why don't we just put sink, toilet, sink, toilet instead of, you know, four toilets at the end, four sinks at the front. And I couldn't think of a good reason why not to try it. So here we are. I'm sure there'll be a reason that will come to me as I build it, but eh, whatever. That's future Francis's problem. They can deal with it. Okay, we're going to bring this up here. That brings all of the water in. And then we're going to want to have a little bit of outflow. You know what? I'm done. Okay. Uh, where the... Where is our massage table? There. Skinny, get on that bench. We need you to uh, calm down. You're at 47%, which is way, way, way too high. Yeah, buddy. Chill out. Chill out. You'll be fine. Now, if we want this water output to get rid of it, I think instead of using a tank, let's just... Actually, yeah, we'll put in a little bit of a storage tank at least to start. Um... Oh my god, have I researched storage tanks yet? Please tell me I've researched storage tanks. Nope. Totally forgot to research storage tanks. Okay, okay, we'll have those along shortly. Once we get a storage tank for our liquid, we can finish off the bathroom section. While that's going on, though, oh, and that'll also give us a whole bunch of algae, which we're looking forward to. We're going to come over here and we're going to start drilling into this section. I need to figure out a way to take this all apart, so that all the polluted water fall to the bottom and all the slime with it to reduce off-gassing. I better make sure we've got deodorizers as well before we break in here. The plan. Simplicity itself. We're going to drill right in here, get to this section where we've got a little bit of water to start soaking up any slime lung gases that off, well, that off gas. A little bit of redundancy there. But uh, then we're going to dig down through here, digging out all of this until we get to this water level. Then we can use this water to stop any of the slime above it from off gassing by digging from down here all the way up and just core out this entire slime biome. Simple read. And we need to get our hands on some thimble reed seeds as well. Those thimble reed seeds are going to be good for disposing of toilet water. 
Well, have we finally got those liquid tanks in place? That's all ventilation stuff. Why have I got only ventilation stuff? I thought I researched liquid tanks. Wait, wait, yeah, they'll be along in a second. There we go. Plumbing, give me a liquid tank. Aha, liquid reservoir. Perfect. So you can go... Actually... Boom. Done. All right, so polluted water goes in there. And uh, we'll then have a water sieve. Wait, wait, I'm doing this all sloppy. I have to think ahead. We're going to be automating this so that the sand gets put in automatically and things like that. Mm. Can't, we need to leave a space for a storage bin for the sand, automation, all that. There, perfection. Sort of. The water's going to come in here, go into this water tank. That water tank's going to put it through the uh, the water sieve. The water sieve will turn it back into clean water, which will come back out here. Once the system's primed with a bit of water, we can basically never have to look at this again. Any excess will get fed off onto the side, but it'll make more sense once the whole thing's up and running. Uh, you go all the way down here, and... Perfect. Now we have some water flowing. Once that's filled up part of the way, we can cut off the flow. Right, I think that's more than enough water for now. Having the snip tools built into the game just makes things so much easier. Right, that's the toilets powered. Uh, we'll need to have the water tank actually fill up a little bit before we turn that on. And then the excess... Oh, actually, I should probably make this feel less stupid looking. One second. You see, that's what it's meant to be. The water here, if it can't fit into this tank, it'll overflow and come along to this section. However... Uh, it's just more convenient if I hopped it across there. It made it for a shorter run. Dun, dun, dun. Now we're going to end up with polluted dirt in here. I don't care about it, to be honest. I discovered a long time ago the polluted dirt is not really worth it. I mean, there's not really that many uses for it. And we can turn it into oxygen now, which is probably a good thing. And we're also going to need power down there, aren't we? Hmm. Yeah, I could replace the floors and put it through the floors, but that can wait. The place is looking... Beautiful, just as it is. And, damn it, we are about to break in here now. Let's just take no chances. We'll stick in a deodorizer right there. And another one right there. And another one right there. In fact, actually, yeah, I just don't want any of this polluted oxygen getting out of there. A little bit of slime lung germs are going to happen. That's to be expected is what we're going to try. But I'd like to make sure we minimize those chances as much as possible. Oh, and a mesh tile right under there. And a mesh tile right under there. Probably shouldn't have placed that deodorizer there. You know what? It'll be fine. Be fine. Okay, once those are filled with uh, sand, they'll break in here. But first, maybe deconstruct our old toilets. We don't need these anymore. They can all go and it frees up the space. Uh, then we're going to dig down here. Mm. Dig down to about this section. I would like to line it up with the floors, so maybe we'll go down a little bit deeper. But if we can chop all of this up for parts, we can also get our hands on some mushrooms, which would be a good crop extension. I don't really want to stay on muckroot for very long, if at all possible. Or sorry, uh, lice loaf for, for very long. That's been three cycles already. Anyone narcoleptic? Nope. Not bothered. We'll take the dirt. Hey, bathrooms just about demolished. And over here, I'm going to be as cautious as I possibly can be here when it comes to this. Uh, I don't want our dupes getting exposed to slime lung as much as possible on the grounds that... Oh my god. Oh, but someone want to put in those ladder segments first before uh, Grumpy gets themselves trapped? Okay, good, good, good. Yeah, that's fine. Okay, now. The whole way down, if we could keep them from actually digging up any slime, that would be nice. So I figure... Straight down like that. Then once we get down here, we can start bringing in some water to make sure nothing goes wrong. Ooh, I could fill it. We could get to that in time. That should allow us to drill all the way over to this polluted water, still keep all of this place from giving off any slime lung, and then once that water is moving up, well, there's a little piece of slime there, but that slime should get muted by the polluted water we're dropping down on top of it. Well, let's hope so anyway. Looking at the germ overlay, we're pretty good. I'm not seeing any nasty packets of it just yet. But uh, don't worry, I'm sure they'll mess up somehow. Okay, kitties. Have you managed to get any slime lung free? No, not yet. That's... You know what? Leave that slime right there. That is perfect. How's your stress levels looking? Not perfect. Oh my god. Well, this water is not going to help. Yeah. Breathe deep. Breathe deep. It's fine. It's fine. Okay, I think we've got enough water down there that we can start chopping some of this stuff out. Yeah, that can all go. 
This way, the moment this stuff gets drilled out, it falls right into water. There should be no off-gassing. So it's just if you get even one piece of slime lung, slime lung in polluted auction, it starts spreading real fast. Eh, dig it all out, and then once the bottom's out, we can dig it from the bottom all the way up to the top, and we should be able to keep most of the uh, slime lung out of our base. It's just our diseases are set to the hardest difficulty, and I'm not sure how bad that gets. Hopefully it doesn't cause any fatalities, but we haven't researched any medicine, have we? In fact, I should probably start researching the stuff we're going to need for electrolyzing. Atmo sensors, gas shutoffs, yes please. And while that's going on, we shall continue this. Everyone's starting to get a little bit stressed. You can see it up there. Uh, Grumpy Bear is actually starting to pass it skinny. So I'm thinking we're going to get furniture here. And we are going to get our hands on a flower pot, stick it right there. And we have a buddy bud seed. That thing is going to give off nice pleasant germs and we're going to use that to give everyone a little bit of a stress reduction. In fact, if we could find a second buddy bud seed, we'd put that closer to the bedrooms to make everyone even happier on top of that. And how are you doing, buddy? Let me guess, you're doing just fine. And then the moment they hop off that, you know what they're going to do? I, I can almost guarantee you, the moment they get off, they're going to be like, oh wait, I haven't had a narcoleptic nap in ages, I'm just going to fall asleep on the ground. I should maybe put carpet below it just to keep them even extra happy. Well, that might be a while before we get to that technology. So. Just out of pure, sheer stubbornness, I am not allowing anything to off-gas. I just, I don't want it to happen. I mean, it's not the end of the world, it's just, I'd prefer if it didn't. If we could manage to get through all of this without getting a single piece of, uh, slime off-gassing anywhere, I would be quite okay with that. Uh, you can go there, you can go there, and we're using sedimentary rock for all of this, and we've also cycled all the sedimentary rock out of these bins in here. We're trying to feed all of the hatches on sedimentary rock, so they all start mutating into their stone hatch variants. So the egg laying chances are going up for stone hatches. In fact, let's uh, get rid of you. I want you to remove that egg, and once the egg's removed, we are going to switch that thing over to stone hatch eggs. Though I don't think we have any more yet, but we will at some point. Uh, uh, oh, yeah, I should queue up a few more commands here it's just we're trying to be really careful about how much we dig out and when so that we don't accidentally cause you know slime lung germs to go everywhere let me just finish this off and we're mostly done uh and not a single slime lung germ has escaped we do have these uh, floral scent germs up here but they're more beneficial than anything else because under status stress Smelled flowers, minus 5% to cycle. So it's helping out everyone's stress levels. Not perfectly, but it definitely helped counteracting all the polluted oxygen we're sending to end. Yep. Skinny's just decided to have a nap down there. They're having naps everywhere. I'm just used to it at this point. It's fine. It's not even that much of a problem. Yet. I'm just waiting for when they do something stupid, like drop something where they shouldn't. Which you know they're going to do. It's just, it's, it's in their nature. All right, uh, down here we want to, we can't really dig any further to the right because, well, abyssalite. Abyssalite is a problem for us because we have no way of dealing with it just yet. However, we can start building a ladder section up there, and I think we're going to do a ladder section up here as well. Oh, and while they're doing that, we should probably check out the printing pod. I'm sure there's something along at some point. Uh, unempathetic. You know what? Let's see if we can get someone. No, no, no. Ah, narcoleptic. It looks so similar to Nycrophobic, whatever the one is where they're afraid of the dark, that I keep getting confused. Anyway, let's see what you got. Bedside Manor, Athletics, Piloting, and Strength. You know what? I think we could do with a dedicated dog's body, and with Athletics and Tidying, I think they might work out okay. A skilled Bedside Manor, and they can double up as a dock if we need it at some point. So, please welcome Zedflix to the team. Alright, Zedflix, uh, you do have a mess table, and we do have a cot for you. We're up to seven. We should probably expand the farming a little bit. Actually, mushrooms. We should put in some mushrooms. Ooh, and we've got a whole extra level down here to do that. I think we'll have, say, two levels of hatches. Uh, just make it something, you know. I kind of want to have a little mix of food as opposed to going pure hatch or pure plant. I'm going to put in a bit of hatches, a bit of plants, and maybe mix and match here and there just so that we have a little bit of variety. Remember, it's uh, casual. Oop, and you. Uh, we want to have stone hatchlings in there. We might even go with some metal refinement. I think we'll go with stone hatches and metal hatches. Why not? Have one of each. We could do a little bit of metal refinement on the side. Mm. Which means we're going to have to take all of these out of there soon enough. Give me one second. This here can hold all our metal refining hatches, this here can hold all our stone hatches, and we're not going to have any regular hatches, because why not? Oh, I'm putting all the hatchling eggs up here for now to keep them out of the way, though I think it's time we sealed them inside a little bit of a safer area. And we need to get all of that gunk out of there. They're basically eating all that random stuff on the ground and it's not helping our chances of keeping them... Oh, damn it, there's another one of those eggs. Uh, give me that. Nope. Nope, you. Exit. We'll sweep that up. 
what I have here is this thing set to be sweep friendly, so it'll sweep all the eggs up there, but then I t toss them out again on the ground so they don't accidentally become, uh, oh, I just need to copy that over. And uh, you can no longer hold hatch eggs, and then all of you guys can get swept up. Perfect, they'll all end up in the storage bin, then we'll wall them in, so anytime the hatchlings do hatch, they'll immediately just get trapped in there and they won't cause any problems like wandering off and eating all of our stone supplies. Uh, that done, that done, and that done, and down here we're going to put in a small mushroom farm just to help us with our food requirements. And over here, how are we looking? Still no germs. I am kind of shocked we managed to achieve that, to be honest. Right now we're just getting all of those seeds out of there. The reason I wanted to get those seeds out of there, those pack are going to eat them. The, oh, and we should probably get those thimble reeds out of there as well. I need to make a quick storage container for them, and... Oh my god, why is there eggs popping out everywhere? Guys, get them all sealed up in there. Um... And as well as that, you can be for actually all the other seeds. We will make you a low priority thing for seeds. We'll make you level four. That's just to make sure any of the Paku don't get them. And down here, we're going to have to start putting slime. The slime is going to be for fertilizing these mushrooms. The mushrooms live on slime, but we don't want to be dropping that all over the place or letting this place off gas. So we're going to chuck some water in here. We're going to enable auto bottle. We're going to put in 200 kilos of water in this tile. And with 200 kilos of water prevents this slime from off-gassing. I think slime can't off-gas above, like, only 2 kilos, but we're going to use a full 200 kilos to make absolutely positively certain. Oh, and mushrooms can only grow in carbon dioxide. Yeah, so... They have to be in carbon dioxide, they have to be in darkness, and uh, have to have less than this amount of ambient radiation, body temperature, all this stuff. I figured they'll do pretty well down here, and they're actually a reasonable source of calories. Now, uh, you. Let's dig this out just a little bit more. You can go definitely go further along. Oh yeah, we got plenty of room in there. So I might want to reinforce the bottom of that water tank before I go digging up any higher. Hey, water, that's 168 kilos. You know what? That is plenty. We'll put you on sweep only for now. Once all that water is emptied out in there, we can start changing this. We're going to make it so organics, slime, we will make you a high priority of, say, six. Yeah, six. That will dump in a bunch of slime there. It's nice and local to our mushrooms. Everything should be good. You can be deconstructed as well. Uh, get rid of all of that. Done. So that should be dust caps, at least involved in our diet. Still have not gotten around to making a cook, though. Ooh. Toilets. I have let that... Yeah, see, the water is coming from down here, and I haven't cut that off yet. Uh, you. We can cut you off right there. Then we can hook this sucker up right there. And that should start pumping clean water into the system. Well, clean is a relative term. The water in there is absolutely riddled with germs. I mean, it's literally water coming out of a toilet. Then we sort of recycle that water by filtering it with a bit of sand. That is just not healthy water. But somehow it still works. This game has no care about water full of germs being used in toilets or sinks for some reason. It works, so we just go with it. All right, that's that finished, I think. I think it's time we just finish this off. I think we can grab ourselves a few more Paku with a whole bunch more slime, a whole bunch more igneous rock and sedimentary rock. The sedimentary rock will keep feeding our hatches and there's also a whole bunch of algae in there will keep us breathing. Ooh, we got a chlorine vent. Figure out what we have to do with that. And we've got Drekos. Excellent. Ooh, anti-entropy nullifier. Okay, looks like everything's coming up what we need. You guys, finish that off. Still no germs got through. I mean, okay. Uh, except for maybe Zedflix. I think there may be... <laughs> <laughs> they may have a little bit of slime lung on them. That's fine, so long as they're not breathing it in. Oh my god, they look positively radioactive. Well, on the bright side, they're not actually radioactive, so it's probably fine. Alright, no, no, it's grand. It's grand. We will just uh, build that stuff up to there. Uh, make a few changes. Actually, let me zoom out a bit here. This, this is all gotta go. Actually, I think we can make this slightly wider. We have the skills necessary now to maybe upskill some people. Oidre here could... Oh, wait, no. This grumpy bear could definitely get into super hard digging. That means we can now dig out Abyssalite. Can't do diamond or obsidian, but uh, that can wait. In fact, we'll give you your new little hat to go with that. Critter ranching-wise... Actually, let me have a quick look through the skills here and see what's appropriate for everyone. After going through all of this too much, it's uh, it's pretty handy, it's pretty handy. We've got Boydra here, they're going to be a researcher. They're going to be doing nothing but research anyway, so we should probably leave them here. We'll put them immediately into geographical analysis, so they can actually have a look at uh, any vents and geysers we find, they can examine them. But at the same time, we're going to improve their carrying capacity. We're going to want that up on everyone, because that's just straight up useful. 
Now that's perfect. We'll put you into advanced oh, field research. Perfect. Now, so I'm going to pop down all the way to Zedflix here because they're our newest pawn and we're immediately going to put them into cooking. We need someone who can actually cook. So yeah, they're going straight into that. They'll have a secondary in farming and then after farming, they'll be into hauling. This way, we've got someone who's actually doing all that cooking for us, which is something we kind of desperately need. By the same time, or is it Rate? Ra Ratai? Rati? Oh, damn it. Okay. So Rati here, we want to make them decorating, farming, and hauling. Now, decorating is not useful at the moment, so right now I think farming and hauling is probably their best bet, which means they're going to be doing mostly hauling. We're going to double them down there into that, put them one point into farming. This way they can do the farming for us and haul when they're not busy, because farming is not going to be a full-time job. Then that leaves ranching. Jack is the only one who can actually do ranching, though they would be better off becoming an electrical engineer. They actually have the grease monkey... Actually, no, that's Uzo I'm thinking of, who has the grease monkey trait. But Jack has suit wearing, tidying, operating, and the critter ranching skill by default. But I'm thinking we're going to go straight to max out the critter ranching to make that a little bit handy and give them improved carry capacity. So say hello to our critter rancher, Mark 1. Oh, and Zedflix, you are immediately into grilling. Right, that leaves Skinny. So Skinny here, their only option is to become an engineer. That's it. That's literally their only option. But for now, we're going to put them into carry capacity because there's no machines that need operating. So 800 kilo carry capacity, that makes them incredibly useful. Uh, well, just for carrying stuff around the place. And then that leaves Uzo, who is their last one. Uzao, sorry. Uh, building and mechatronics. So they're going to be specialized in building first and then mechatronics second. So yoink, yoink, and one into improved carry. That will make them very useful. Uh, well, I don't want to stick them all the way down to demolition just yet. We do not need to demolish any Gravitas buildings. But if we do, we can chuck them on there. That will cost two morale points, and I think they can afford it. Yeah, exit. That leaves Grumpy Bear with an extra point. And I don't think we need the Diamond or Obsidian, so improve carry. Done. I think everyone has now got all of their points assigned. And we actually have a goal. Oh, and I better change everyone's priorities so it reflects their new skill sets. There we go. Everyone's priorities set where they need to be. If anyone's interested, you can always just pause it and scroll through there. But by and large, it's just everyone's assigned to what they should be doing. The only thing I probably left out is Jack here is going to have a secondary in farming because they've got a little bit of farming skill to go with that ranching because of all the skills they got assigned out. And done. Now we can get back to where we were going and everyone gets their hats on. Your algae's at 12.7 tons. We're still going to need to... Oh, and we can dig out Abyssalite now, can't we? So let's check all of that out there. Uh, dig that up and we can probably wall up along this side. It's going to take us uh, perilously close to that uh, chlorine vent, but I think we can work our way around that. Let me just zoom out a bit here while we go into uh, high speed mode. A little cleaner, but not perfect. Uh, choose a blueprint, grab some fertilizer. I've had a look in there. There was nothing we really wanted. The fertilizer we'll find a use for at some point. Uh, we've also managed to pick up a few more dust caps, which means our uh, productivity has gone up. In fact, let's... Uh, deconstruct some of those so we can put in another dust cap when the time comes. You copy settings over to there. Then we're also going to want to actually extend this out just a little bit and hey, want to power that. We uh, maybe, maybe got a little bit of slime lung that got loose down here. Namely because duplicates kept dropping slime at the bottom of the ladder. They'd be bringing it down here to put into the storage bin and then immediately drop it on the floor buzz. Dupes are want to do. Once we get all the slime cleaned up from in here, though, then we'll chop out the rest of the top. I want to seal this off. About five tons of slime should be plenty. We don't need to be carrying all of it all this way. We're just going to keep dropping it, and it's going to end up causing more and more problems. Oh, and we're putting ourselves a whole bunch of igneous rock here. We're going to make all our ladders out of igneous rock because we want to make sure everything drops down. There is nothing in the way of these things dropping. We want to make sure no one gets exposed to germs if we can, just as a sort of a, a, a bit of an attempted fun bit of uh, messing about. Frankly, I'm kind of shocked. Still no germ outbreaks. We, we've definitely got the floral scent, but there's been no slime lung outbreaks yet. I am kind of shocked. I just thought I'd mess it up at some point. I mean, I still think I'm going to mess it up at some point, but I'm so, kind of surprised we got this far without any mess ups. Uh, slow and steady wins the race. We're dumping it all down here. We've definitely got plenty of slime to keep us in food and algae wise, we're actually staying ahead of what we need. We are going to have to get into an electrolyzer soon, so I should probably queue up a little bit more research. Oh, I don't want to get iron smelting while we're here. Okay, we'll grab iron smelting, then we'll worry about the electrolyzer research. I think we have a little bit of time considering the slime biome we've got to cut through. Am I missing something here, or is slime a lot stronger than I remember it being? That, that amount of water should smash through it, should it not? You know what? Never mind. Uh, you can all join the lower level lake, and... 
Yeah, everyone's gonna get a little bit of wet feet, but you'll be fine. Everyone's stress is nice and low. We've managed it. Ah, beautiful. There's something so cathartic about just chopping up all of that slime and or all of that area and letting the water flow down. I think we could probably get a little bit more of this today. And that might be just about enough. In fact, just coming up to the top here, we've got our hands on a wild mushroom, which we can dig up, actually. We can use the seeds from that. We've also got our hands on a wild thimble reed and a couple of reed fiber, which means we've got enough reed fiber to make ourselves an atmos suit if we need to. Also, we've scouted a bunch of stuff by doing this. Namely, frozen biome, wheezewort, and we found space, I believe. That looks to be regolith, and... Oh, actually, I wonder if we've got intense asteroid swarms, so this could end up getting destroyed. Now, to fix that, we'll probably be fine. Probably. Yeah. Down here, we've got a chlorine gas vent. I would like to actually dig out and find what vents we're dealing with here. So maybe a little bit of exploratory digging is in order. Just about... Ooh, down here as well. One thing we will have to do is... Uh, make a minor change here so we can get through. Grumpy Bear needs to be able to dig through some obsidian, so... Yeah, that puts him up to seven morale. I am okay with that. Super duper hard digging. Hell yeah, go for it. Oh, yeah, they do have to go back up top and uh, grab their new... Come on. It might hurt a little bit. Don't worry, it's a good pain. You'll be fine. All right, let's see what our first vent and hidden vent in geyser is. We've already seen a few, but I want the really good stuff if at all possible. What you got for us? Come on. Ooh, that looks pretty volcanic. It is. Excellent. More volcanoes, the better. I'm thinking lots and lots of power when the time comes. Now, where's this other one? Ah, over here, behind the kitchen. Eh, we can... Yeah, I don't want to really go under the water, but I think we can manage it. Well, while we were digging this, uh, the gate went off, and we have been offered our first narcoleptic naturally. And it's actually a plus 12 cuisine narcoleptic. I think we kind of have to take that. We don't really have a choice. I'm thinking anyone that shows up that's narco narcoleptic, we have to take them no matter what. Please welcome Trevor Ivory, our 100% uh, dedicated cook with no other skills. That's also a glow slick stick that emits low amounts of rads and light. Oh, we're going to have to give you a separate bedroom as well, aren't we? Yeah, otherwise you're going to keep everyone awake at night. Very well, Trevor. Welcome to the team. Uh, it's a really unfortunate occurrence that you're here. Damn it, damn it, damn it. <sighs> Okay, fine, fine. Uh, we can put you over here on your own and... Yeah, right there. We'll give you a couple of bunks. I'm sure we'll find someone equally fitting for your company at some point in the future and we'll immediately stick you on a schedule that puts you as far away from the others as possible. Oh, Skinny here is on their own schedule as well. Namely so that Skinny doesn't... You know, Skinny's a morning person, so we want them on a morning shift. Hmm, let's see then. Trevor? Welcome to this schedule. Uh, I would put you a little bit further along, but actually, minor change. We did add another schedule, and now Skitty is as far away from all of the rest as possible. That means if he does end up in with the rest of them in a room, he shouldn't cause any issues because he's the only one on that schedule. Everyone else should be awake at the time. All right, back to here. Let's have a quick look over here, and considering I did make this a geoactive planet, and I also picked extra volcanoes, maybe all the extra geoactive ones are going to be more volcano. You know what? We'll find out. Maybe we'll like try and stream all of the volcano towards one section or all the volcanoes and all the magma. Maybe pump it or move it to one location and then do something with it. I don't know what. Maybe a rust melter or a regolith melter. On the bright side, since Trevor's a little bit radioactive, that should kill any germs that ends up anything, right? There'll be no surface germs near him because they're literally a radiation source and radiation kills germs. Or maybe I'm not remembering things right. Yeah, there we go. Uh, we got any germs on this stuff? Nothing. Mm, we need germs anywhere near here. Nothing that we can test with. Hmm. As far as I recall, though, radiation kills germs, so this should, uh, yeah, we've got a radioactive cook that sterilizes the food they cooks. What are they currently carrying? Oh, damn it. I was thinking they were going to be carrying some polluted dirt there for a second just so we could test it. That actually might be a good use for cooks. They stand off on their own a lot and they can radiate the food. Huh. For our next vent, we have. A copper volcano. Ooh, a little bit close to the base, but that's okay. That's okay. We can work on that. Uh, for our next vent over here, well, we're almost exposing two vents or geysers. Uh, that one looks kind of slanty flat. Uh, I'm going to guess that's either a water vent or a CO2 vent. Ice vent? Frozen? Mm, come on. Hurry up. Come on. Oh, 
seriously? You're just teasing me. And now you have to go all the way around. I really should maybe have made the ladder system just a little bit simpler there. Well, I didn't really think I was going to be working here that much. What do we got? We have hydrogen vent. Ah, oh, okay, I was way off. Very well, let's see what the next one has in store. Oh, just stop rubbing your eyes and chop it out. Let's see. Carbon dioxide. Ugh. Okay, so we got a carbon dioxide and a hydrogen. Not what we were hoping for, but it's fine. We got another vent over here we can look at. But so far, what I do like is we have magma volcano over there, magma volcano over here, and a magma volcano over there. I'm thinking we can combine those into, like, a very, very large amount of magma. Uh, then over here, we should have another vent, which hopefully is not nearly as useless as the carbon dioxide and the hydrogen. I mean, okay, the hydrogen we can use to make liquid hydrogen rockets later on, but who wants those? Now that we've got the radiation ones and copper volcano. Hmm. Copper volcano we can definitely find a use for. Did you have a good nap? Did you have a nice meal, Grumpy Bear? I'm glad, I'm glad. Now what have we got? Iron volcano. Okay, so we've got a copper volcano, an iron volcano, three magma volcanoes, zero water sources, and we've got another vent over there. Excellent, excellent. Uh, now, plans, I suppose. Our biggest threat right now is oxygen. Uh, food is pretty much sorted. This is enough mushrooms to support about seven duplicants. I think it's about 2.7 mushrooms per duplicant, and we can definitely expand that out as needs be. Combined with our mealwood, we're just, we're, we're swimming in food. That's not an issue. However, oxygen-wise, when it comes to the algae, you use about 110 grams of algae a second to keep a duplicant going. Looking at a calculator here, it's about 528 kilos of algae per cycle is what we are burning. Assuming we do not do any more mining, and that means we've got about ooh, 34 days. We've got about 34 cycles worth of oxygen left. Now, we do have other algae pockets and stuff like that, and that is nice, but it's not renewable. So even if we do dig out all that stuff, we're, we're run a clock, and all that stuff getting further and further away. We need to get an oxygen production facility up. And I've been looking into a hydra. I'm thinking we stick in a hydra design right here. These things started to become popular about a year and a half ago, and I kind of avoided them because it's over-pressurizing things. So we would be over-pressurizing the oxygen production, but eh, we're taking it easy. This has actually been a nice, pleasant run. It's so weird not starting on an asteroid that's actively trying to kill you and denies you all sorts of resources. Like, we've got everything we need. We've got buddy buds, we've got Paku, we've got hatches, we've got, like, the only thing we haven't got so far is the pips, and they got offered out of the gate. Oh, as well as that, we have Drekos, we have uh, Thimble Reed Seeds, we have, oh, we've got Wheeze Warts, we've got Rads to make more uh, radiation, we've got Sweetles, we got everything we could possibly want, and then some, oh, that reminds me, put a Thimble Reed Seed in here. Uh, once that's planted, uh, we can let the toilets overflow, in fact, let's do that right now. So, with that planted, what we want to do is just start getting all our excess polluted water and dumping that excess polluted water in here. So this is an input. Which means the water, will, the polluted water is going to try and go in there. If the polluted water can't get in there, it will overflow out the side. And that overflow will go straight into our thimble reed. And there we go. Uh, let's double down on that. These thimble reeds are going to give us a whole bunch of reed fiber, which we can use to make atmos suits when the, time's come, when the time comes. Just it's good to have it going there in the background. And it stops the toilets from overflowing. Once this liquid reservoir is empty, though, what we're going to do is probably switch it out into a clean water reservoir. Oh, what's the germs like in there? Can we see? Oh, five million germs. That seems like a tad a lot. And that's two thimble reeds. Wait, body temperature? How is your body temperature too hot? You're good to 37 degrees. Soak up some of that water. You'd be grand. Perfect. Then, that will give us all the thimble reed we're going to need for our early atmos suit gains. And... Oh, that's a bunch of Paku. Oh my god, I really like those Pakus. That's... Hmm. Damn it. Damn it! Damn it! Um... Well, we'll take care of this just real quick right now. Uh, you can go... You can go... And... You can go. Alright, people. Quickly, quickly. We want to get these Paku dropped out. The thing is, if we... Uh, I could try saving the game, but if I save the game and come back later, it will have changed into something else. And... There, they have a clean shot. Let's see if they follow that clean shot. Oh, wait. No narcoleptics? No narcoleptics. Exit. Print. Now, oh, yes, they can sense that water. Boom. Problem solved. Well, that went incredibly well. Okay, then. So now we have even more food. God, should we make a Paku Ranch? No, they'll kill the frames, wouldn't it? Yeah, no, no. Let's, let's maybe not do a massive Paku Ranch. Small one might be okay. In fact, we got plenty of... We got plenty of them in there. Are they going to be... Yeah, they're wild and happy. Let them swim around and have their funny fun times. 
For now, I'll have to do a little bit of research, and I'm thinking we'll put in our little Hydra oxygen generation unit in here. It'll be nice and close to our polluted water supply. I was really hoping we would have found our, uh, our water vent, or a water vent by now. There's another vent over here. There is another over here, and a third over here that we haven't checked out yet. But these things are in the radioactive biome, so I'm not holding out much hope that they're water. And this one is in the caustic biome, so I'm also not holding out much hope that it's water. Uh, we might be a little bit dry on the waterfront, but eh, we'll find out next episode. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed and good luck.